this is the continuation of what if Deku had an art in tech slash quirk. Hold on. As I was saying about the quirk, thanks to this person who just who just literally, you know, gave me a better name for the quirk. I will put him right on the spot or her on the spot. Hold on. And here we are. This is the person right here. Please go follow their Inst please go follow their YouTube and please go like the comment. Hold on. And let's get back to the story. So basically, you know, invisible girl eyes for the, you know, um skin pigmentation and it is a short and like she pulls out like two like two photos. I mean, four photos. Her her dad's parents and her mom's parents. And she pulls out um, one photo of her mom. I mean, like, yeah. You know, let's say that she's not, um, what's the word? Um, she, she doesn't have, I mean, like, her parents have, you know, skin color. So basically, Deku, he basically, okay, I get, I get this. I get this. Basically, I really do get this. So basically, he basically like he you know touches the photo, and like he sees and like he sees this um skin pigmentation, and like he and like he touches the one of his mom, I mean of her mom and dad, and he combined them. Right, and like Deku, he basically touches Invisible Girl, and like she has her skin pigmentation back. So literally, a one best and his quirk is going to be called digital art digital art right so you know she goes back to the um dorms and like no one knows that um that was her right so basically um let's say deku he ba deku hmm what does he do deku he he literally, let's say, as he was going out to paint another picture, and like he paints a picture of like the per like let's say, it's a picture of like the first person who literally, you know, finished the game, and it is, let's say it was Jiro. It was Jiro, and like, let's say, it was, you know, really cool. And like, he saw her, you know, stats, everything, and they're all maxed out, like, literally. And like, let's say that he put, like, different quirks on, on there, just so people can have some fun and combine quirks. And like, and like, once you reach a certain level, you have the power to combine quirks with yours. And like keep on going and upgrading your own self. So basically, it's straight up just like, you know, fucking Miles Morales. And like, so Deku, he basically goes out and like he basically paints a picture of um, Jiro. He paints a picture of Jiro and like, and, and like some, you know, cool ass art style. And it has like her quirk. And basically, it's somewhere, you know. Let's say it's in the city, cause like, J um, Jiro told him like where she lived, cause like Deku said, hey, I will be you know you know sending some stuff to your place from your room and stuff, you know. She said, oh, cool, and she's like wondering like, oh, why is he doing this? And she and like, this happened all before you know. Deku said, I I I um you know spend like I give out the merchandise to you know the green dragon so basically deku like right now deku he basically let's say he goes over there and like he paints a mural of jiro and like let's say jiro comes by her house and she sees the mural and like everybody sees who it is and it has like the green dragon logo and it says you know you, you you finish the game J Jiro first and and um, this is your surprise and she touches it 
and it's like a song that um the green dragon personally wrote for her the green dragon literally wrote a song for her and like right now she is it's like she is geeking out because like the green dragon it's her favorite since since um she, like he's the favorite of her so basically like, she has like you know the game and, and like she finished the game my guy like she um you know said and like she um what's her what's the word rushes back to the dorm saying guys guys the green dragon you know he basically rewarded me by painting a mural of me and like everybody's like wow like what and like Gerald, you know shows him the picture and like when she you know touched it it's a song came out and it was like fucking a one cool now okay i cannot play the song but think of it Think of, you know, how Jiro sings and combine that with, you know, Deku. You know, how, um, like, you know, somebody like Deku would sing. So it is amazing. Hold on. It works out fine. And Deku, he basically, he basically, you know, you know, asks, you know, I mean, not Deku, but like the Green Dragon asks, you know, Jiro if she wants to do an album, like, you know, a personal you know, theme song for the game. And she says, yeah. And this happened all, like, you know, last night. Basically, Deku, he, like, he, like, he put on the mask, and he, you know, did the smart thing. Right? He did the smart thing, and he... Yeah, and he did this, like, he... He basically, you know, dressed up as a green dragon. And he went to Jira's room and, like, he told her to be quiet. Because, like, he didn't, like, because, like, he didn't, because, like, he don't want nobody to, let's say, you know, do the, uh, I mean, to come out their rooms. So Deku was like, oh, my God. So, like, Deku, he goes to, like, um, like, let's say, Jiro's parents, you know, Jiro calls her parents, saying, hey, mom and dad, can I use the studio? And they say, sure, hun, just for what? And Deku says, I mean, and she says, um, do you know the Green Dragon? And she, and like, oh, yeah, he's the one who's been put, painting those, I mean, painting the, um, all those art pieces. And I, she says, he wants to record a theme song for um, the game. And, and they were like, what game? And Jiro tells her, and Jiro tells him all about the game. And literally, it is literally A1 cool. Right? And this is like, and like, they're just like, sure. Sure. And like, let's say... Her parents, you know, is okay with her hanging out with the Green Dragon. So, so basically, yeah, they fly all the way. I mean, they um, drive all the way over there. And, like, it's been, like, a full, like, it, not, like, now it's, like, fucking, what, like, let's say it's, I don't, like, 3 o'clock. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. Right? And, like, Jiro, Jiro, and Deku have been fucking recording all the songs that long. They started at like nine. I mean, at nine, like you know, around seven or something. They've been recording that for like for that long. And like you know, they've and like they're like, oh my god. So Deku, so basically, you know, Jiro, she basically, you know, asked Deku, what's wrong. I mean, she basically asked the Green Dragon, "Hey, um, can I call you the Dragon?" And Dick says, "Oh yeah, sure, just call me the Dragon. No, no big whoop." So basically, Deku, he like he calls. I mean, not calls, but like he basically, you know, takes Jiro to the dorms. And hold on, shit. <laughs> he basically takes Jiro to the dorms, and he. 
puts her in, and, and he puts her inside the, you know, the thing. I mean, in her dorm. And guess what? And Jura, and like when Jura was sleeping, all she kept was saying, Good job, Green Dragon, I love you. And Deku, you know, peeks out of this, like, what the fuck is she thinking of me? So, like, as he was trying to leave, she don't put her earphone jacks, you know, I mean, she doesn't put her earphone jacks into Deku, but like, more of, what's the word? Literally help. De like, she kissed Deku, and Deku, like, he, like, he was flustered. And, like, let's say that when he was flustered, he had, like, a tattoo. It was, like, a heart tattoo. And that, and basically, like, that one was over his heart. Which means his heart was thumping really fast. Dun-dun, 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 dun-dun. And they could just fucking, like, fuck it. And, like, he, and like he jumps out the window and he goes to, you know, the, the boy's side of the dorms. And, like, let's say... Deku, he basically, you know, jumps to his, and, and, like, he jumps into his window, and, like, he takes off the green dragon mask, and, like, he basically goes to sleep, and, like, I mean, he doesn't go to sleep, not yet, so Deku, he calls, he, I mean, like, he doesn't call, he doesn't call, like, nobody, I mean, scratch that, Deku, and his, I mean, Let's say Deku takes a sound and like he does like some updates to the games. And like he basically like all like since all the games are, are online, like let's say my boy Deku straight up A1 gave all the games updates. Like he basically put in Jiro and his theme song, everything and like for like and Jiro told Deku her birthday was coming up. So Basically, Deku, you know, painted that mural, and guess what else he left there? Since um, they have the Xboxes and PS4 in this one, so Deku, he is like, oh, cool. He, like, you know, he, like, he buys, like, a Xbox, and he got me an Xbox, a Nintendo Switch, and, um, uh, PS5. And, like, he basically takes the designs. I mean, he basically looks up the schematics for all of them. And, like, he and like he pieces all of them together in his head. And, like, when he draws it, it's A1 perfect. And, like, it comes out like a mixture of the PS4, Xbox, and literally the Nintendo. And Deku, when I tell you, it is literally the coolest thing ever when like Deku he touches I mean like when like when he plugs it into the TV he has let's say that Deku it 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 pulls up like a logo it's like the green dragon logo and then basically and basically people will know that the green dragon literally handmade this thing just by the thing, like, like, just by the logo on, like, on the starting screen. So, Deku, Deku, and, like, let's say, I mean, not Deku, but, like, Deku, he finished, he, like, he makes two of these, one for Jura and one for himself, and basically, Deku puts a note, I mean, he puts, like, a, a thing inside Jura saying, hey, you, um, you would have to, you know, play this game at night, like, like, somewhere at night, and, like, she's going, like, why? And Deku says, oh, and on the back it says, oh, if you're wondering why, it's because I do not want to be making more for everybody. So, please, just please do this. And she says, okay. And she, pl and she, pl and let's say that she plugs it in. It has the green dragon logo spinning around and like I mean not the green dragon logo but like a dragon you know coming at the TV and then eats the camera 
and it basically, you know, twists around into a circle, and it has, like, a, you know, Dragon Ball symbol with, like, you know, ten stars in it. Like, um, the Dragon Ball is black, and it has green, you know, stars in it. And, like, she's like, what the fuck? This is amazing. And, like, she is on the game 24-7. And basically, basically, it, basically, let's say it'll have a notification saying, like, if you play the game too long, the green dragon will probably take back the game. And she's like, okay, pretty cool, I guess. And basically, Deku, he is amazed. Like, I mean, she is, I mean, not Deku, but like, Jiro is amazed. And like, she hears a theme song happening. And at the end of it, like, she plays the game, like, for, like, two weeks, and, like, and she has, like, two weeks off, and she, and, like, she does her work the two weeks, and she keeps on, you know, doing this, and it's, like, a schedule to her, so, basically, let's say, back at, I mean, back to Deku, Deku went to sleep, just straight up, after he got done coding the game, and, you know, drawing it, so he went, so he went to sleep, and in his head, that, he saw like a vision of him, not not like a vision, but more of a art piece. Like he saw a battle mech, cause like you'll see like a villain that I'm gonna be talking about, and like his name is gonna be you know Mashi. Yeah, his name is Mashi. So basically, his name is Mashi, and like, and like, he's gonna be a very, very, very big fan of literally the Green Dragon. So let's say the Green. So like, let's say, like Mashi follows. Well, back to Deku. So Deku he goes to sleep. Next day he goes to class, and like Jira sees him like, um, oh, hey, oh hey, um, Deku. And Deku says, oh, hey. And she sees, like, the bags up under his eyes. And she's, like, wondering, like, what happened? And Deku, like, his like his arm basically goes to, into sleep mode. To where, like, the metal turns, like, let's say the metal on his hand, it basically warms up to um, keep him comfy and warm. And it pulls out, like, a little pillow. And Deku just, you know, fucking fall asleep on his hand. Ah, soft and warm. Deku is literally just like Aizawa. Aizawa is like a uh, problem child. I mean, kid, get up. Dick says, I'm too sleepy. And basically, you know, one thing led to another. You know, Aizawa says, fine. You can go to sleep for now. And, like, basically, everybody's like, well, like, what the fuck? Deku goes to sleep, and, like, let's say class ends, and, like, Momo, Jiro, and, like, everybody's going, like, hey, do you still have any more Green Dragon merch? And Deku says, yeah. And Deku basically, you know, tells them, go check out the updates. And they're like, what updates? And Deku just says, go fucking check them out already. Just don't bother me. I think the Green Dragon put some more stuff on it for y'all. And, like, they all go check out the updates. And it has, like, characters like them. And they're one, like, have we met the Green Dragon? And, like, they all think, like, the Green Dragon, Green Dragon. Let's see. So he knows all our features, quirks, names, literally everything about us. So, I'm going to have to take a guess. That is Izuku. Like, one person. Hold on. So, basically, you know, Deku, like, they're all suspecting something. Like, they don't really don't care. But, like, they play the game. And let's say there's another clue. It has, like, a, let's say it has, like, a thing of, like, it has, like, a picture of Deku. 
I mean, not Deku, but, like, it has some picture of, you know, Jiro, and it has a picture of, like, all the green dragons at work. And they basically see one, and, and, it's, on, and it's somewhere in the UA campus. And, like, let's say Nezu, you know, has, like, a place where, like, the robots are at, it's, you know, being stored or something. Deku paints, like, yeah. Deku paints, like, one symbol, like, a fucking big-ass piece of symbol. Like, I'm gonna say, he basically uses his cork, and Deku basically uses his cork, and so, like, he, digital art, damn. Like, he basically thinks, like, he basically uses his cork, and he... And he's like, okay, this is pretty cool. So basically, like, he thinks of, uh, like, a, so scratch that, like, really scratch that. So this is around when Deku, I mean, like, when they start their um, hero course, I mean, hero, it's when, like, they do the ball throw. Yeah, when they do the ball throw, and, like, Deku, like, he's, like oh scratch that so basically this is uh, so if I you know talk about the ball throw in my other what if yeah just please tell me if I talk about the ball throw in my in, in the first what if please tell me and if I didn't, if I didn't, you know, I'm gonna talk about it now, so, sorry. So basically, if I did talk about it, I didn't put that much detail in it, so yeah. So basically, we, we can have a flashback to where Deku, he aces the ball throw and he aces everything else. Now for the, you know, you know, metal thing, like the course. So Deku, he, so he basically, you know, the fuck? Hold on. he basically uses, like, like, he basically uses his, like, his, um, you know, cork, and he, like, let's say, he draws a picture of, like, a mech, like, he draws a picture of a gauntlet, on his metal arm, I mean, not his metal arm, but like, let's say, he had, like, a, you know, something engraved on his, you know, metal hand that he lost, and it is a picture of, you know, the three, ele like, the three elements that he chose that he could probably, you know, draw, right? The three elements he could probably, you know, use, so, so, basically, Deku, he... So Deku, like he touches the like he touches it, and like let's say, you know, he goes into his, you know dragon mode, right? He goes into his dragon mode, right? Right, he goes into the dragon mode and shit, and like he chooses the element, and like he chooses like the most strongest. And it's, you know, iron and basically fire. So basically, let's say, on his other hand, he, he has like a, you know, a symbol that represents the other one. Right? And like, you know, if he touches this one and he touches that one on his other hand, like, it's going to be like, he like he's able to merge like the both like the both power like you know he he's able to merge the um powers together right so basically you know Deku he's like you know fuck it Deku he is whooping every ro robot's ass he like he's racking up points and shit and everything and sorry for if I'm explaining this again. And like let's say 
Um, he's racking up points and like it's pretty cool. It's pre- it's really fucking cool, right? He's doing a good job, and like um, hold on. He's doing a good job, and like, um, he says, um, Juro because Ochaku, she's really just pulling everything up in the sky. So, like, she wins, uh, like, superly. So, Deku, like, he basically won. He won everything. So they moved into the norms and sorry for not explaining this, but like, you know, they've like before they, you know, did everything else, Nizu, you know, had an idea to move them in now because I like, eh, they finished the dorms like really early. So they wanted the students to move in like right now. So it's really easy. So, you know, they move in dorms, like, that quick, and, you know, they do everything, like, in canon. So, we get to the part where I was talking about, so, so, basically, after they, like, so, after, you know, Deku did all that stuff with the game and stuff, like, people are wondering, like, oh, what happened? Like, they see all the different quirks, stuff, everything, customizable shit. So Deku is, you know, sleeping. And like let's say um Deku, he is like let's say this is when they do what's the um, name? The sports festival. Right? This is when they do the sports festival. And we and let's say that, you know, it's like they were preparing for it. I mean, not the sports festival, sorry, but, like, um, what is this, the, um, USJ thing? As they were doing the USJ, right? As they were doing the USJ, like, before they could, you know, get on the bus, um, Deku, he basically painted, like, a picture of a hawk, and, like, let's say... He gave the he he gave commands to the hawk. And turns out turns out the hawk is really, really strong. So Deku he basically uses quirk and turns it into like, you know, a digital color. I mean not he basically engraves the hawk with like tech and like the hawk He's like, oh, like, the, the hawk is really cool. You know, shut up. They could send the hawk to the USJ before they even get out of the classroom. And, like, Deku sees what the hawk sees on his, you know, um, robot hand. Right? He sees, like, the thing on his, you know, robot hand. And, like, and say that he is straight up cool. Like he's cool with it. Right? Deku, you know, he, he basically tells us out, hold on. And Deku, he basically, you know, draws like a mech type thing. Like a, you know, bio suit. And like he uses, like, he, you know, says, hold on. And like he jumps inside the um biomech suit. He jumps in there. And like who he basically just you know blisses over there. Like he sees the Nomu, he grabs his brain, and he just squeezes it. Like he rips the brain out. He basically, you know, the the brain is pulsing like a heart, going dun. Dun 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 squeeze and like all the brain guts just 
just come out his hand like it's gone it's straight up gone and like Deku he basically you know you know you know pictures I mean he does a picture like he basically like the um Bayesu has like a thing where he can you know draw it in the air to where like he like he drew like a you know giant kaiju that you, you know like a kaiju and guess what Deku he basically said like he basically you know coated the kaiju into turn like a, into like a metal form like a metal type kaiju to where to where when Deku gives it orders it just doesn't go on a rampage it basically you know understands them so Deku he he draws a kaiju and like he says get all the villains and the kaiju you know sits there and he is analyzing every villain from death row from national grade everything and he's and he sees Shigaraki there right so Deku says hold on he grabs fucking Shigaraki by the neck and like instead of fucking killing him Deku just throws him and let's say that his notebook opens up a, like like he throws Shigaraki inside his notebook and like that's where he's trapped and like and like Deku tells the kaiju don't kill all the villains just you know break some bones and like finally like, let's say about 20 minutes have pa like has passed by right 20 fucking minutes has passed by like all the like everybody get there and like, the only thing you could smell is like fucking you know hear screams like people crying you know fingers you know fucking you know see blood and like they see some blood and they see Deku he just sitting there drawing and like the heroes get there and like the heroes get there and like whoo the heroes are literally I'm telling you this the heroes think that, thought that the kaiju was you know the threat so basically Deku gave I mean Deku told the kaiju to release and the kaiju shrunk down and and on went to, like went on to a part of Deku's body, and it transformed into like a monster tattoo, that that almost on his you know, arm. Right, basically, the um metal hand it reads saying, "You have a new ability." It says, "King Kaiju, King of the Kaiju, call." Which means his arm can turn into a metal kaiju um arm, and like and like Deku, he's like, oh my god, that is super cool, right? So basically, everybody see, I mean, all my sees Deku and thought that Deku was a villain. So guess what? Um, I my did, he fucking rocketed his hand back. <laughs> knocked his ass out and Deku like his cork like the um bio suit that he had on and that and like let's say that that part went to like somewhere like on his chest because um since it was big it had to be on his chest somewhere right it, it was big and Deku was like was screaming in pain ah you fuckhead Oh my, I was the one who fucking down the villain. And, and All Might is like, oh, I should have, you know, asked. And at this point, All Might is like, uh, I feel a little shitty. So All Might takes Deku to, um, what's it? I mean, what's her name? Recovery Girl, right? She heals Deku up somewhat. Right? He, uh, I mean, she heals up Deku somewhat, and Deku, and Deku says, it's fine, hold on. Let's say that he lost, um, like a, like, let's say that he lost a rib. Deku drew, like, some tiny, like, he drew, like, a picture of, like, a very big-ass Nenobot, so Deku shrunk it down to, you know, 
atom size. So they can, you know, get, I mean, coated the um, nail about to, you know, replace the um, broken rib. And it is working amazingly. So basically, let's say, you know, Deku gets out of the hospital. Deku, you know, sees, you know, all my and they're saying, I am so sorry. And Deku says, it's okay. And like, this is, and like, Deku thinks, huh, fuck, how am I going to do this? Because like, I have to do another art piece. So, so people won't get suspicious. So let's say that, you know, one day, like, I mean, this is after Deku got all healed up. Now to the thing, like, what, what, uh, What's the name? Tiger, Mandalay, and what's the other hero's name? Cause I do not know her name, so please tell me. So basically, they so basically they are on the way to the what's in like you know the forest training camp. I was always like I was always explaining it, and basically since Shigaraki isn't there, Toga, Dabi, they are not found. So Deku, he's like, I gotta do this. Deku, he basically, let's say, he touches the um Kaiju King mark on his on his arm. The only thing you can see is like the cut, like his metal hand. It literally turns into like a metal Kaiju, like hand fingers. Like his whole arm from his eye, like from his eye, like his hair turns to spikes, literally like a kaiju. And it says kaiju king mode. I mean kaiju king power um I mean form one. Form one, right? And let's say this part it is really hard to control the kaiju king, you know, power. So basically, the reason why it's so hard, cause like it puts in all the you know strength and power of the kaiju, like kaiju, like Godzilla and shit, right? And it's fucking fucking strong, my guy. It is strong, right? So basically, Deku, he like he thinks of it, cause like this is his form one. So kaiju form two is like like a beast. Fucking one wrong move, you are dead. Deku has an idea. Like okay, I think I can do this. So basically, he touches another tattoo that he had on. It's basically let's say it was the um dragon tattoo. Since it was a dragon tattoo, it would, it would be way easier for him to slimmer. So Deku touches the dragon tattoo and he touches the elemental. He touches an iron dragon tattoo, which means he he can he is able to you know absorb iron and he is able to release iron. Same thing goes with fire, wind, air, you know, basically anything he touches. And basically, Deku he like let's say that he draws like a um motorcycle and like his gauntlet you know, notifies Deku saying, vehicle has been, you know, acquired, and, like, it's, and, like, Deku sees it, so, he, like, the, the, like so, so, like, the vehicle, it transforms with Deku, like, if Deku is, like, you know, in a, you know, what do I do? <sighs> so, basically, Deku, um, like, he has the, um, dirt bike, right, and, like, it is street legalized, just so I'm letting you know, right, it's street legalized, so Deku, he basically, let's say, like, the gun says, um, vehicle has been acquired, and, you know, like, Deku, he, like, Deku sees the bike transform a little bit, and like he and like he think, oh, I could probably you know do this like with some modifications. So Deku, he basically you know, he basically you know touches the bike, 
and it turns into like a painting, I mean a picture, or like paper. So Deku, he basically, um, you know, draws like the bike a, a little bit better to where it to where it would fit hit, like the um engine and, and everything to it. And Deku like once he, like let's say that when Deku was trying to touch it, I mean Deku touches it and he codes the bike, and like the bike is like um let's say it is only accessible accessible to Deku and that's it. Because there's somebody who doesn't have like Deku's gauntlet or um, the tech that Deku has inside his gauntlet, they are dead. So, so I'm just gonna let y'all know the bike is a living bike, and like when Deku drives it, it gets like a 10 times like a like a power boost of like 9,000. So, basically, you know, Deku he basically gets on the bike, and like his arm, like his metal, you know, hand. It basically starts eating up his skin and turning like like the rest of his arm into like a robotic arm, and Deku says, "Oh, the drawback is it would have to you know take half of my body." So Deku says, eh, "Screw it." It takes half of the body of Deku, and it goes from like his eye, and Deku he's like, "Oh wow, no shit, Sherlock," right? Deku, like, he gets on the bike, and, like, he basically just drives there. Like, the only thing you can hear is, like, a sound, like a sonic boom. <laughs> Sorry, but I had to. So, basically, you know, Deku, he gets there first before everybody. M Mandalay and Tiger, they see him, like, who are you? Is it Midoriya, class 1A student? And they know who Deku is, because, like, let's say, Nezu told them about Deku, because, like, he's the green dragon. So, basically, don't go easy on Deku. So, they, um, say, do you want to get a head start? And Deku says, yeah, sure. And Deku, like, he basically, he basically, um, touches the bike. And, like, the whole bike just transforms into, you know, ink on, um, not ink, but, like, um, a digital, um, ink on Deku's, you know, glove to where to where when Deku he touches the air some like like he touches the air or something because like his eye like his eye that was taken over can see the tech like he touches it I mean not you know like he touches the air right and like the bike come I mean the bike leaps off of the tattoo I mean not the tattoo but like it basically, you know, comes out of Deku's robotic hand. So basically, I'm gonna let y'all know that, alright? Deku, he, he gets there first. And like, he basically, you know, you know, fucking drives all the way to the um campsite. And let's say, Koda is there. And like, he's just, you know, sitting there, you know, talking to himself. And like, Deku... He's like one like why is this kid talking to himself? So he goes over there and say, Hey kid, are you okay? And Koda sees Deku and he sees like his hand like, Are you really Mr. Like uh, Ugh Heroes? So basically Deku he basically sits down with Koda saying what's wrong? And Koda just, you know, tells him about my, about his parents dying to a person named Muscular. So basically, Deku, he says, it's okay, kid. Look, your parents know, your parents knew what they were getting into. And look, if they didn't, you know, save those people, they, they um, would have been, you know, um, disgraced. Disgraced by, like, you know, really? So basically... Basically, it would, I know, basically, he would have been disgraced. I mean, like, their parents would have been, you know, really, really crappy. So basically, they said, screw it. Koda, we're sorry. We couldn't be there for you. So basically, Deku and... So Deku, he, you know, helped, like, he plays with Koda 
up until everybody else gets there. I mean, not everybody else. So Deku, he cooks like meal. Like, so like he cooks a meal for Tiger, Mandalay, and Coda. And let's say this meal is very good. Straight A1 good. Delicioso, my nigga. Delicioso. So basically, you know, he like he paints like a picture. And Deku's, so basically he paints a picture. And like, you know, it comes, so basically like he codes it. He code, codes it. And, and it basically just looks like a big ass picture of like, um, like, let's say it was a picture of Mandalay. And basically Deku says, this is my court. It's called digital art. So, so like it works out very fine. So once everybody gets there, Deku is sleeping up under a tree. And Koda is like right beside him, you know, sleeping. And like everybody gets there and they see Deku like, what the fuck? How did he get here so fast? And men like say, oh, you didn't know? Aizawa? No, he didn't tell us nothing. He got here faster than you and he basically, you know, went through the forest. By himself? Yeah. What did what else did he do? He basically he basically made like he basically you know had some fun. He 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 also cooked his dinner. And like let's say everything happens just like in canon up until the muscular fight. Deku sees muscular and like the first thing he does flip. He basically like he takes you know muscular as a like a um, hostage, and like he puts him inside the painting, I mean inside the drawing. And like let's say a tattoo comes on Deku's other hand, right? A tattoo comes on Deku's underhand, right? Other hand, right? And it is straight up OG. It has like a picture of like um what's the word like a like muscles not muscles like the old school cartoon muscles no it has like a thing like 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 um let's say it's a vine like thing right Okay, what if I just witness and I am looking at Brickleberry? So, no. So basically, Deku, he's like, uh. Koda's wondering, what happened to Muscular? And Deku tells him, this is my cork. If I touch you with my robotic hand, you, you will become ones and zeros. And I will be able to trap you inside my art. Not trap you, but like, you know, keep you in there. It's like a prison. And like, Deku brings, like, he put, like, he has like a book. Like, this book has like, you know, convicts, death row, and like, all, like, all, like, death row names, you know, different types of villains. And like, the first two were in there, Shigaraki, and, um, let's say, muscular, yeah. So let's, so basically, you know, Deku, he basically, you know, touches the, um, symbol on his gauntlet, and it basically, and like, his hand, you know, it brings out, like, the dirt bike, like, Deku puts Koda on the back, I mean, in the, um, front, and let's say Deku, he basically drives through, he sees, um, Sue, and, um, Sue and Ochaku, you know, there, and, he, and, like, he saves them from Toga. I mean, shit, um, since Toga's not there. So, eh, nothing happened really that much. And so, basically, he sees, like, this girl wandering through, right? He sees the girl, I mean, he sees this girl, and it's Toga Hamako, 
right? What the fuck? Um, he sees the girl, Toga, and, like, he's one, like, why are you wandering through this forest? And she says, I'm lost. Can you help me? And Deku says, yeah, sure. So Deku, like, being Deku, so good. But, she, but like, she, you know, stabs Deku, like, like a little slit. And, like, she takes the blood and says, oh, so good. And she's, like, freaking out, like, a, like you know, straight up, you know, into Deku. Deku, like, um, he says, are you okay, lady? And she says, oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. And she looks at her and like, uh. And, like, Deku drops, you know, um, fuck, um, I, I forgot his name, but, um, the little kid off. Koda? Yeah, Koda off. And, like, he basically, he draws, he, like, he draws, like, a, um, island to where it's so live. Cause like once he get back to the um you know school he gonna you know basically let Toga into the city to where she can go back home, and Toga says I really don't want to go back to the city. I mean I don't want to go you know anywhere. So basically, Toga. Toga is wondering like she is in the art with Deku, and like and let's say that the food there is real like straight up a one real. Real, 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 like real ass food. So she goes there and she sits in there and let's say, um, you know, Deku, like everybody leaves and like they have like a week off, right? He has like a week off and it is super weird. Cause I, you know, Toga is still inside the art, and Deku, like, let's say, he basically adjusted the um, like his paintings to where, if it's night outside, it's night inside the painting, so it's like you know the same you know time zone or some shit, it works basically. Deku and Toga, I mean, like Deku goes in there one night, he sees Toga, you know. In, in, in like in like one of the rooms and like you, you know naked i mean not naked but like you know literally cool right so basically him and to i mean her and toga fuck i mean him and to him he and toga i like you know talking for a little bit being Deku, if you catch my drift. So basically, Deku, like, let's say Deku drunk too much. And, like, the last thing he remembers is Toga, you know, saying I love you. And to where Deku, he would basically, you know. So basically, Deku, he would be, you know, you know, sleep. Yeah, Deku, he would be asleep. And, like, and like let's say Toga is literally there, but, like, she is, you know, by Deku. And let's say that Miriko, like, yeah, Miriko, out of nowhere, she basically, you know, wandered into Deku's room for no reason. And she basically opened up his sketchbook and to see, you know, literally, you know, the paintings. And like she sees this one painting of this world and she touches it and and it sucks her into it. And I say that is the world where Deku and Toga are. Deku and Toga. Yeah, Deku and Toga. They basically like they still drinking and Miracle sees her and say, Hey And she's like, eh, screw it. Go 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 and like she gets drunk easily. And last thing Deku remembers is feeling two soft things in his hand. I mean, four soft things in his hand. And guess who it is? It's Toga Miracle. So basically, he sees, like, he basically tries to get up. And, like, he sees his hand. And, like, he smells it. Like, what the fuck? 
he like he smells it again. Like what the fuck is it smell? And it hits him like what the fuck did they do to my hand? And like the, the girls wait, and like the girls wake up, Miracle's like fucking startled and so he's like, eh, I'm okay with it. Deku, he's like, uh, hey, how about you guys turn around and I, how, I mean, by how, how about you, I turn around, you guys change. Miko says, you're darn right, kid. So they both, you know, wake up. I mean, not wake up, like, you know, change. And Deku, you know, drew, like, some clothes for them. And I say that Deku, he basically wants to literally... So Deku, so it works out. So let's say that Toga, she wakes up slower, and like the last thing she remembers is fucking, it's like literally on top of Deku. Her shit is clock clock 9000 has run out of power. And like she is on the bed, you know, gone. Miracle Clock Lock 10,000 has been shut down. And like, you know, they like, you know, it's gone, man. It's gone. Deku and Toga. I mean, Deku, he basically gets out the um, art. And like, he basically walks over there to Toga's. Um, like, he brings Toga to his house to stay at. And Mirko goes back to her house. And like Toga, I mean Deku asks for Mirko's number and Toga's number just because of it. So basically, they're having some fun. And Deku gets back to the dorms before anybody noticed that he was, you know, gone. And he get and he wake and like he gets dressed for class. And Deku, my guy, he is getting a good. He is being the guts in. Be in guts. 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 If you catch my drift. He is breaking guts and everything. So Deku, he like like he gets home like he gets back to the dorms. He basically gets changed and ready for class. Next thing you know, Miracle. I mean not Miracle, like, you know. Toga comes in and like she enrolled there because like she knew the um uniform so basically she enrolls there and like Dick's like oh fuck and Toga says oh hey Izuku and everybody's like what the fuck Izuku you know him and she says oh yeah he was a, he was a great friend last night a great friend last night what do you mean by that? Oh, nothing. And they all just stare at Dick like, what the fuck did you do? And Dick says, nothing. I didn't do nothing. I promise you. Then Miracle comes in. You know, Miracle is young. Let's say 19. I mean, like 20 or something. She's 20. Who it works out. So it works out, my guy. It works out. So basically, Mirko comes in. Oh, um, hello. My name is Mirko. And I'm sorry because I do not know her last name. Mirko. And she says, oh, um, hello. My name is Mirko. And I am want to apply for UA. And like... Um, basically, she's in class 1A as well. And, like, Mineta, he doesn't make it. And let's say... Hold on. Hold the fuck on. 